Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. Episode 80, baby. I didn't think it was going to come, but I just did. Little Z. Unfortunately, Maddie is no longer my girlfriend. Pop it one. Hello. I would not recommend eating vegan burgers before going out. And director Carter. <laughs> I can't wait to find out more. <laughs> also, I'm having a Red Bull for the first time in a while. First time in your life? No, in a while, in a while. This was no. some of the best intros I think we've ever had. Yeah. Oh, episode 80 is already going well. Can uh, I very quickly clarify? It's because we got engaged. Woo! Oh, yeah, it's good to clarify that first. Uh, and it's not unfortunate. Woo! It's very fortunate. But we can talk about that later. I want to hear about this vegan. Okay, it's not much <laughs> of a story. What the that? Uh, look, we just had a situation. Did you shit yourself again, Jordan? Not quite. <laughs> no, that is not a direct no. Is that mean you like you shat someone else? Like I don't really yeah. understand. It's understand. Like a, what's the what's it called when you fart and it's a little a bit shart. of poo? Yeah, it's just a, a shart. shart. No, it was just fart. Um but yeah, that's the story. So yeah. That's Holly it. and I we thought we'd mix it up, have some vegan burgers. <laughs> And then I, I went out to a Smash Bros tournament and I was just farting all night. <laughs> and I was not playing Wario. It was not good. Wait, you, you recently did a video where you entered a tournament as Wario though, right? Yeah, but that, yeah, this was not last night. <laughs> <laughs> so that'd be a good thing if you were farting all it night. It would have been. And you were playing Wario. Well, so what were these vegan, did you, were you eating out? Or did you do it at home? At or? home, they were like sweet potato and chickpea or something. And I was like, oh, I don't know what happened. Then I got home, said, Holly, how are you? And she said, been farting all night. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, it must be right. the vegan burgers we Wh- both had. What's the culprit ingredient, do you think? I was thinking it might be sweet potato because I don't know. I don't know. Well, cows fart already. Right. <laughs> like, and cows are known for eating a lot of sweet potatoes. <laughs> yeah, do they, do they? I can't wait to where this is going. You know cows always get the sweet potato fries at grill. <laughs> no, yeah, I, and they're just going off the whole car ride home. Oh, Fucking so, cows. When you eat beef burgers, right? Yep. You, I'm fine afterwards. Oh, because they've already because the farted. Cows have already wow. farted. Fuck. If you eat sweet potatoes, I get you. You become the now. vessel for them to fart. That's some logic for episode and eighty. So then I can eat you and I won't fart because <laughs> you I've ate just, the sweet potato. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah okay. right. So that's my theory, I guess. Well, vegans are more gassy. I remember reading about it when I was because vegetables be don't fart. And yeah. animals do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why I think yeah, it's the food chain, and the fart's gonna come out at some point. There you go. Anyway. I think it might be because of the fiber. <laughs> yeah. But that might burst your bubble a little bit. Yeah. I think it's just harder to digest because like meat are easily accessed mm. calories, right? There's like more faffing about stuff in vegetables. Yeah, there's sure. a lot of theories going around. We don't know which one's right. Well, I can discount one of them pretty quickly. <laughs> no, I reckon. no, the fiber one. That one's stupid. Yeah, that one's no good. Jordan, what's your theory on uh, after my flight home, I really had to fart. And it like it felt like I've I've heard this story from someone who I'm not going to name drop, but they <laughs> like thought their appendix was bursting, and then they got to the hospital and found out they just really needed to fart. <laughs> what is an appendix? That, no, Jordan, don't. No, say. It's, it's I don't. A know. redundant or, organ that we Why have. Why would I need to know about it? It's have, redundant. Yeah. Have you never heard about this before? I didn't know what it was. No, I've heard the heard, name okay, appendix. Okay. Right. Okay. It's, really it's pain- fair enough to not know exactly what it is because it's completely useless. Yeah. So some people have it burst and they need to get it like removed. Uh, and it really hurts when it does, apparently. Oh, so it's like the pressure in the air, maybe. Maybe the the air up there, it's different because it's underwater, it's pressure on. So you probably fart less because yeah. you're consumed. Yeah, on your yourself. farts are smaller. Like, well, the they air take is up less space. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you get up there in the plane, you're up high, the air's less, everything's just leaking out. Uh, he's got a point. We might get people mm. to email in like science questions and Jordan will just answer them for That's them. a good idea. Because he's, got, he's answering them nonstop. We could all Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is supposed to be the um, religion episode that Peter hinted a while back. It was no, okay. <laughs> don't say it like that because that makes it sound positive. Backstory: <laughs> This was it must have been in the single digit episode. Episode eight. It was episode eight. Yeah. Okay. So and then I was like, I'll stop talking about religion now. Maybe if we get to episode eighty, I'll bash every religion. Yeah. Like a joke. Thinking it would never. happen. We would never hit episode eighty because at that point we were releasing more, one every six months, probably yep. at best. Yeah. Who are you starting with? 
Uh, there's, we'll, we'll get we'll get to that. We'll stick around for later for oh, that we one. Are getting to that. I'm, I'm not gonna so I'm not excited. gonna go for them. We'll, we'll, oh, okay. We'll, we'll, <laughs> there's, there's a plan. <laughs> it's a very careful treading you have to do with each sentence. You yeah, say. yeah. Um, excuse me if I just take five minutes to come up with every word I'm gonna say next. <laughs> oh, so you're gonna sprinkle them throughout the podcast? No, so no. Wait got, till the end. Yeah, yeah, they're all gonna be. We gotta warm up the audience before I get serious. So right, let's just okay. talk about. Have to some, know you're a good person first. Yeah, let's talk about some nonsense shit before you drop a banger. Do you wanna tell us? story about how you're a good person this week just to get everyone on the right side of you what have you done this week there's a good samaritan act um i wouldn't say it's a good samaritan act it's a good person thing yeah where i actively took interest in a friendship with someone i haven't seen and organized to just meet up with them just to have a catch up out of not like out of the blue yes you know it's like what a legend. or or someone who and there was another one where another person who i wasn't very good friends with and like you know you ever have to make a friend move What's yeah. that? Where like you're on the level of, let's say you're like, we're work friends. Right. And you're like, fuck, I want to elevate this to just friends. Yeah. Ooh. So like you have to organize, like you have to ask them out on a friend date. Yeah. And you you have to make a friend move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like it's, it's it, it, it can go wrong. Like asking someone else out, you need to ask them the right thing. You need yeah. to, you know, know the boundaries and stuff. It's it's a whole thing. So where was your friend date? Uh, Hanging out at where I'm house sitting with my sister. So hanging out at my sister's. So nice. it's a pretty, pretty far base of friends. You know what I mean? Took him back to the house. Took him back to my place, Damn. bro. Ooh, and you're house sitting. That's a nice thing to do. Yeah, yeah. For someone looking Ooh. after pets. Well, they weren't doing much sitting. Looking after, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing you do that's nice is on Tuesdays, you'll be like, remember to get petrol, everyone, because it's cheap on Tuesdays. No, I am a legend. And then I was like, wow, Peter's so nice. Wait, should like, we go around the room and do something nice? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, there's, no, there's nothing in the game for him with that sentence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a nice thing he did. Yeah, so that's another one. Um, Peter really helped me out with the thumbnail that's going to be on the last episode. So if that episode's a one out of 10, you can thank Peter. For All right. It. Thanks, guys. Calm and down before our ego gets too big. One more for this. Um, He's been away, so this will be hard. I <laughs> left a good tip for a Turkish candy vendor. No, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you misunderstanding the assignment. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> just try that. something nice about Peter. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, if you want to also bash religion, we can um, talk about your tipping as well. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to join in on the bashing religion <laughs> conversation, that's fine. Uh, I'd appreciate some backup. Yeah, so either you say something nice about yourself and then you have to bash religion, <laughs> or you say something nice about Peter and leave it to him. <laughs> I, I've only had like messenger interactions with Peter and one of them was just make like just 14 make something crying up. laughing emojis and saying like, got the ball and chain now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was good. That was a good gag. Yeah, I'm you. a good trick. I'm a jokester. Yeah, it did I'm make a good me guy. laugh. Yeah. So. He made you, you laugh. And You're what a, a funny good guy. Man. There you go. So a funny did, man, a good man. If anyone's not sure, he's quite a nice guy, as evident by all these stories. <laughs> anyway, this is why windows are wrong. <laughs> <It's like laughs> Hindos. Hindos. Um, so wrong, don't even have their name right. It's actually Hindos. Ooh. Someone tell them. <laughs> oh, so, so that's one. No, nah, that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of them are the serious. Rest are <laughs> 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 right. Oh, we have a few ways to go. Should we hear about Zach's like trip and stuff? I want to hear about like even how you surprised Maddie and stuff. Yeah, and, like, what's what? with this tip, dude? That was crazy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell us about the tip. <laughs> Wait, did I miss something? No, they're just having a laugh. No one wants to hear about the tip. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear the shaft. What's the tip? <laughs> Forget it. I like a money tip. Oh. He said his good story about oh, himself. Sorry, Jordan, yeah, pay sorry, attention. Come on, Jordan, switch pay on. Pay attention, sorry. switch on. <laughs> no, it's all right. All right, right so... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, for those that... Well, probably most people don't know, I organised a surprise holiday to Turkey for Maddie. Uh, main, main reason being Cappadocia, where all the hot air balloons go up, you know that? Mm -hmm. The hot air balloon festival, which uh, they actually changed the date of the hot air balloon festival. So I booked it like three months ago and then they brought it forward. So we weren't there for <gasps> that, but it turns out just every day, like 150 balloons go up. So oh, they just fucking oh, love that's, it. Did your yeah. heart sink? When did you find that out? Like a month before. Oh, that's fucked. But like, um, I think it would have been worse. It was already like kind of like lots of people go there. And yeah. The prices and like all the amount of people would have been fucked. Yep. Oh, okay. And it was still like fucking amazing. That's like so lucky that they still get up, go up with balloons and stuff. So there's still heaps go up. Just no, they every... go up all year round. Oh, okay. Like only when the weather's bad. And there's like 150 every day. Oh, nice. So yeah. Uh, and the reason was for that for that was because I proposed to her up in the balloon. That in the like, balloon? Yeah. Imagine if you dropped the ring out. Yeah, no, that was a big concern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Were you like checking your pockets like all the time? Where where do you have it hide? Hid. Uh, Unless you I don't want to say. I had it in my like backpack. Oh, okay. With yeah. like all my camera gear, which you would like never look in. Yeah. Mm. And then I also like had it with me on the carry on and that because I wasn't trusting that in checked luggage. Yep. Like, oh. Good call. Yeah. Very oh good my call. god, having it on you the whole time. Yeah, Maddie's quite like traditional with that sort of stuff. So like, I thought yeah. she would probably want me to like get down on one knee and like oh, I was yeah. like, oh, it could be good to like open up the box and like do that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it also meant that, like, at some point in the hot air balloon ride, I had to get it out of my backpack and I put it in, like, my back pocket. Mm-hmm. And then I just never oh turned my, my back gosh. to Maddie, like, for the first half of the hot air balloon ride. Oh, my god! Because there was a big bulge in my ass. That's Hectic. so exciting. That's dope. And so, how did she react? Uh, she was, she, like, I started, you know how you, like, say a few words before you... Yeah. Well, like I said a few words before I like asked her to marry me. Mm. And then as soon as I started saying like the first line, I think I, I, I said something like, um, ever since I met you. And then like, it was like immediately oh, she started you know. crying because she like knew, like that's something I would never like say. Yeah. Normally. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's not your standard. Yeah. Just kind of like hanging <laughs> ever out. Ever since I talk. met you. Oh, it was like, I love you. She was like, oh, I love you too. Then I like started saying that. And then it was like, the gig was up. Oh, Wow. And then I said a few words and then I got down. The balloon was really small, by the way. So getting down on one knee was like a little bit crazy. Oh, really? Yeah, I've yeah. seen the, they're always smaller than I thought. It's like a sort of two meters, three meters squared, right? Or even smaller yeah. than that. And then it was, was there anyone else? Was there like a, a balloon operator? So I paid more to book a private balloon. So is it just you two in the basket or is there one more? No, like there's dude? someone operating the balloon. That's so funny. And you're all in this little crowded space. <laughs> I tell you what, he was a fucking legend. <laughs> His name was Tank. And, um, Tank? Like, was he a big I, boy? In my emails to the company, I told them like what was happening. And then like when we got to a good spot, he like gave me the thumbs up when Maddie was looking at the like horizon. Let's go. Oh, like to wow. tell me when to do it. So he Let's knew. Go tank. Yeah. Yeah. Also because whenever they like do the propane to make it go up, it's like. Yeah, so you oh, know so that like, in the middle. I didn't know. Ever since I met you. <laughs> 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 so I think he was sort of giving me like the, I won't do it for a while. Like. Yeah. Good thing I didn't have a 20 minute speech planned and we just slowly started <laughs> Wow. And he's like giving he's you like the desperate fingers. Come on, yeah. come on, come on, come on. Approaching a mountainside. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So stressful. Dude, I, I to listen with the, to. the photos did a good, very good job with yes. all the timing and the weather and the location. Yeah. And like, it. I was saying on the pod last week, I was like, Good boy. Well fucking done. <laughs> good fucking good job. Ten. Well done. Well, I couldn't really plan the weather in that. Like some days the balloons don't go up because of the weather. Yeah. I was just hoping it wasn't that. Well, I don't, you, you, you took the risks or whatever and it seemed to all work out. So yeah. massive good job on that Did one. It worked out very well. So obviously. I would be shitting my pants. Were you shitting your pants? Yeah. I was. I filmed a little like. Pet uh, <laughs> like, no, I feel like a little. <laughs> it's like he's soiled undies on the floor. Yeah. Oh. Hey guys, check this one out. Man's repose today. This is my third pair of underwear. <laughs> I filmed what I was thinking like the day before when Maddie went outside for like a little bit. And yeah, yeah I was shitting my pants and I like didn't know what I was going to say or anything. And I was like, oh, hopefully it just works out. Oh, like a vlog. It worked out. That's sick. Good on you. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. How what a stressful event, but it all worked out for the best. Yeah. You got the girl. This is like, you you know, last week when we're like, Jordan, you're very low key. And you're like, what do you mean? Like, this is what we mean. Like, Zach is high key and you're low key. And they're both extremely respectable in their own way. Yeah. When I say you don't give a shit, I don't mean about Holly. I just meant you're very lackadaisical about the whole thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Similar to like, me going all out for like stupid challenges. Yeah. And shit. Like, yeah. I'm kind of like, like a go big or don't bother. Yeah. Just fucking do an Iron Man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it was my last upload. You're not wrong. Yeah, I watched it this morning. Oh, thanks. So, yeah. The difference is I haven't uploaded in a month. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's uh, what I'm saying. They're both good in their own ways. Do you feel more in love now? Yeah. Do you feel uh, connected? Yeah. 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 That's nice. So did I. It was a massive weight oh, off, like, <laughs> the day after I did it. Because I'd been having to keep so many secrets for, like, three months. Mm, yeah. Like, the whole day I was just, like... Well, Maddie was really curious as well about, like, how I got the ring made and, like, shit like that. So, she was asking me questions and I was just like, thank God I don't need to keep anything else a secret. I actually felt, like, a complete wave of, like, stress, like, leave my body yeah, that day. Yeah, that's so good. And then we had a good, like, two weeks in Turkey, which was fucking sick. 
Yeah, so it was pretty early you proposed in the piece of the trip. Yeah, which yeah. was a great decision. You get it out of the way, yeah. bro, yeah. so you can just chill the <laughs> fuck out. Do not leave that to the last day. Uh, I guess the only thing would be if it was a no, then you have a long trip. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I was really uh, pretty confident in yeah. being yes. Yeah, I suppose you should be when it's you propose. It's a bold move to, to, to do it when you're not sure. Yeah. There was a pretty funny Instagram uh, like reply to my Instagram post. That said, like, well, of course she said yes. You had her trapped in a balloon like 500 <laughs> metres in the air. <laughs> then I was like, good point. Like, if she said no, that would have been the most awkward, like, balloon ride. <laughs> and it's the like, guy just there as well. Yeah, tank, like, oh. Tank's crying. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to just head back now, boy? <laughs> uh, tank, is, tank will say yes. Yeah, well, you, you, the whole the trip was secret. Did you say that? I think you yeah. did. Yeah. Uh, so like I told her we were going out for dinner, yeah, and like uh, a couple friends of ours said that like he won like a free dinner in a work competition, mm-hmm. which is like all a made up story. So they drove us to there, and then we said it was like oh pretty far away, but then we ended up at the airport, and then wait, yeah. she didn't you didn't even pack her bag before? No, I did pack. Oh her no, bag. you did, but she didn't. She did. You went that far? Oh wow! Yeah. Did you forget anything really important to pack for her? No, I don't. Yeah, she, I would have been so when, nervous packing like Holly's yeah, bag. When, like, oh, I forgot her glasses. When, now she's blind for the trip. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when uh, Maddie organized Zach's surprise birthday, mm. it was like a dress up thing. And do you remember she forgot your dress shoes? Yeah, and I didn't and so forget, it. forget yeah. it. Everyone was wearing suits and stuff on the second thing, and Zach just had his sneakers on. So like, she forgot that. Did you forget yeah, anything I, of hers? I went barefoot to sort of like. She's very organized, and I like wore a suit with bare feet just to sort of say like, you forgot. This. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing like that. Um, no, I went with the strategy of packing about three times more clothes than Smart. she would need. <laughs> yeah. And um, I b- packed like two massive toiletry bags yep. and just put like everything. Like making the choice of what she's going to wear for your engage- like engagement photos. <sighs> that's a bold move. I love it. Good job. Jackson would... <laughs> well, like, <laughs> once I'd packed all her clothes away, she got home from work and then I kind of had to like say something. And I was like, oh, close your eyes in the room because I've got like some kind of, su- like I've been planning a surprise date. Like after our dinner, we're going to oh, do that. Oh, so did you have her outfit ready for that? So she didn't look in her well, wardrobe said, and like, see that's missing? like, you pick a nice dress to take. Nice. And then so nice. she had that safe. Yeah, and I put in a few dresses myself. Uh, I just put fucking everything in her bag. Yeah, And half smart. of my bag. I was like, <laughs> can't go wrong if her whole wardrobe is there. Yeah, she thinks she was like robbed or something when she walked into the wardrobe. There's just nothing This is why I'm saying good, good job, good boy. That's You're putting crazy. her clothes in your suitcase. Good job. She's done such oh, a good job. Yeah. Uh, someone says, do you have to know any Turkish when you go to Turkey? Or is uh, it fine? You did learn a little bit of Turkish. Yeah. Like a Can lot of the bit? main see, uh, Bune Kadaj. What's like, that mean? How much is this? That's good. We learn like the basic, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like things that- What's it called? The say. traveler book phrase or something like that. The phrase book. Yeah. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, like, go on. Most of what we said was thank you, which is Teshe Kulaj. That's good. And but yeah. you got you got around without it mostly. Yeah, mostly. And then we went to some, but then sometimes we drive through a smaller city and no one there speaks any English. Yeah. So then, like, just trying to get money out of an ATM once was actually a massive struggle. <laughs> and then we ended up having to get the security guard to, like, show us how to use the ATM. And yeah. we, by, like, going into a bank and the guy showed us. And the girl behind the bank counter was, like, actually pissing herself laughing. <laughs> She's <laughs> well, like, how stupid you were being. don't know how to use an ATM. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, yeah, we couldn't translate the first thing and i was like to maddie like oh surely we just put our card in and she was like i don't know i don't want our card to get like swallowed yep and then turns out that was the first step but we couldn't read anything yeah so stressful that's funny is that why they do the bull running in turkey that no, is that's spain, spain. Oh, don't mind me <laughs> Jordan, give him a break he's not been anywhere true <laughs> i haven't i want to um, see a jordan travel vlog i would pay so much to see a jordan travel vlog just well, to be like you'd be like Look at mountains. We don't have those <laughs> no, at home. That's stupid. No, you would be amazed <laughs> nah, if you <laughs> saw a bunch of big mountains because it is amazing. <laughs> that's true. The the massive mountain Tolly and I saw, we lost our minds out in. So w- like, oh, yeah. I would do that. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, when me and Maddie went to New Zealand recently, I got off the plane and there were like a mountain right there. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, no, it's a, a, it's, it's, it's it's a valid crazy. thing to say. Yeah, fair enough. I'm not calling you stupid. I'm just saying you're easily amazed and there's a lot of amazing things when you go traveling. <laughs> well, we might do a travel vlog when we go to Japan. Go to Japan oh, next yeah. year. In January. Everyone's leaving early next year. Yep. Peter's out of here. I'll be I'll be here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's the underdog podcast. Yeah, it's just me <laughs> monologuing for the an Jackson hour. Podcast. There's some people do monologue podcasts. 
You do that. Yeah. Bit of I'll do one as a deal. <laughs> Wait, don't so say this. People hold on to it. It's like this episode 80 I'll do business. It from yeah, my house. true. Yeah, well, and speaking of which, are we going to get a little bit of a. All right. Here so we go. Should we start with. <clears throat> so, since I made this statement, firstly, said that as a joke uh, that I was going to bash our religion. And secondly, since then, I've gone through some personal growth. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know a reasonable number of religious people, not a lot, but a reasonable number. And a lot of them are some of the like nicest people ever because, you know, when you have the fear of eternal damnation in you, mm. it's a pretty good reason to be a nice person. So for yep. the most part, all the religious people I know are very, very nice people and I can't fault them mm. on that. How- however. <laughs> <laughs> but <gasps> also another thing in personal development, I kind of didn't really understand back in the day when I said this, which yeah. was like two years ago, yeah. that most people don't take their religious texts literally. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's like a framework. It's like a handbook on how to live your life with useful stories and lessons yeah. on how to live your life. It's not just like, oh, yeah, this definitely happened, right? Yes. But the people who do think that way, mm. you are fucking stupid. That's what I'm oh. starting with, by the way. All that bit before is cut out. I'm starting with, <laughs> you are fucking Wait, stupid. Wait, can you give us more of like a tagline, like specifically say which religions then say they're yeah, fucking stupid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it just applies. That'd be great for the TikTok, well, man. We're, we're bashing all religions, so I think it applies to all of them. Yeah. To think for any one group of people to mm. decide, I have everything worked out and everyone else has got it wrong yeah. and it's been passed through all the generations perfectly and yeah, passed yeah, down. Yeah. Bro, I heard a story from a friend about two years ago and all the details have changed because two years passed. Right. What about 2000? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, yeah, fucking Adam and the talking snake and then the earth's created. It's like, no, it wasn't. Well, maybe. Oh. It, like you can you like you can believe there's a greater being because I go outside, I look at all the plants, I look at nature, I'm like, mm. this is pretty amazing. Yeah. To believe that this is all a coincidence. Yeah, that's the argument. Right? Sure. Yeah. Mm. Yet I find that yeah, that and is like, crazy. The function of the human body. Yeah. That's one thing I'm like, that that can't be fucking just Dude, like worked out over time. Like that's you look crazy. At, you look like a tiger and you're like, how is this thing real? Yeah. And how is it here by coincidence? It's like, <laughs> why is it eating me? <laughs> <laughs> And so, you see a tiger, you might have bigger <laughs> concerns, bro. <laughs> All right. I, I, but, and then I, so I get that. Mm. I get that. And I've had the feeling of being like, man, this is too crazy to not be like created by something. Yeah. But to think that your story is correct and everyone else's is wrong yeah. is so arrogant and short-sighted and overall stupid that I just cannot excuse it for anyone. Yeah, see, that's what I believed. And then I realized that being an atheist is kind of doing the same thing. I know, that's why I'm saying like... Yeah, it's, it's like this, the personal growth. I was it, about the same as you two years ago. I was like, you're an idiot if you believe in religion. And then it's like, well, I kind of am just doing the same thing. Yeah, I can, I you're can, believing in no religion, yeah. 100%. I'm like, that has to be what's happened. It's like, <laughs> <Yeah>. well... <laughs> there has to have been a little nothing that blew yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. has to be. Yeah. You know what I found out? I don't know if this is common knowledge... In, but in Turkey, it's very like multi-religious because mm. it it's like it was mostly like exa- Islamic for a bit, then it was like Byzantine Christian for a bit. No switching. Apparently, it up. Jesus and Muhammad were the same person. No, like it's just <laughs> <laughs> like Do not apparently not actually. Do not no, no, like, no, but like it was both just like some really nice or like really smart had good ideas dude they're both prophets and yeah and then they both like people wrote down stories about that person in just different ways Mm. but it's like based on the same dude i wouldn't be surprised i don't know enough about uh muslim culture to i know nothing say that one but um, you'd be like oh i saw this guy like preaching some good shit like I don't know his name. Let's give him Muhammad or like, let's give him Jesus. Yeah. If you write a story That's about That's the thing. It. It's so far long ago that like the details do get pretty muddied. So I find that pretty easy to believe. I wonder if anyone in the chat can back that up. By the way, that is, yeah, that's that's something Maddie, I think, told me. Okay, yeah, throw her under the bus okay, real quick. Yeah, I, I heard it's different. I heard this is a story. It's like there's Jews. <laughs> if I'm getting cancelled, like, what's mine is yours, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 80 is yours. Going great. <laughs> One in the chat is reincarnation. Any reincarnation believers in the room? Nah. I would like to, but nah. I think nah. I'd remember. You reckon? Yeah. Isn't that sort of the whole thing though? Well, but do people, you think some that, people say they remember? Do you think that the like hard to describe parts of your personality are due to a past life that you had or something else? So like you know, for example, like <laughs> do you think that everything you got is from your like genetics and your upbringing, or do you think there's like a small element of something different? What have I got? 
Like, I don't think I've got anything <laughs> you got swag. Crazy. You've got swag. <laughs> I don't think I've got anything that, like, can you you be explained by a past butterfly life. Equal amounts of swag to your parents? Um, no, obviously more, but I grew up in a time with... <laughs> Sorry, obviously. <laughs> I grew up in a time where, like, the media I consumed had more swag. Right. You know? Like, people in the 90s swag. and 20s had barely any swag. Yeah. No, I think no, they had a lot of swag. That's just, so that's just much the way swag. it was. I want to go to a they, 1920s party and check out their swag. They wore, like, full suits everywhere. That's just pretty out. fucking swaggy. That's pretty dripped out. Yeah, but dripped. then when, when like, hip-hop started becoming a thing, people thought it was swag to wear, like, the completely opposite, like, boxes with their, like, jeans are halfway down yeah. their thighs. Yeah. Swag. And then that was swag. It just changes what swag is. Yeah. Swag. So, <laughs> so in summary... Swag. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Back to the religion. Oh, right, right, right. Reincarnation. So you're obviously allowed to believe whatever you want to believe. Right. And as long as it helps you live your life in a moral and positive way, then good for you. Happy for you. But I think that every religion is wrong at least half the time, if not more, yeah. with all their shit. Because they just disagree with each other so much that if you do the maths, right. if one is right, mm. a thousand are wrong. Yeah. So I the think odds are that you're wrong is like 999 out of a thousand. So if do you reckon one of them's right? Uh, probably not. No. There's a Even religion it, with like one person. Yeah. They've got it right. <laughs> just made it up. Yeah, it's antism, bro. It's Jordan. It's me. I've got to figure it out. But yeah, that's a uh, best case scenario. If someone is right, then mm. you got a one in a thousand chance of being right. Yeah. And that's, you know, there's more than a thousand religions. Yeah. And odds are nobody's right. Yeah, probably. Have you ever thought about the fact that there are no castles in Australia? Yeah. Because like that just wasn't our ancestry. Like we had the indigenous Australians, mm. but we had like no castles anywhere. And then... You go to fucking Turkey, every town's got like five castles near it because that's where like everything was happening in the major... Yeah, yeah like my mum grew up in England. She said there's just castles absolutely everywhere. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> and we're like, oh, let's go visit like this gate where that they built for the Roman emperor when he visited like Hadrian's Gate. And I'm like, what? Like, it's yeah, fucking crazy. It's really it made cool. me so interested in history when I've never been interested before. I'm really excited to go to Greece and Rome for all their mm. ancient history. That's mm. something I really look forward to. And I'm just like, I'm going to go to this place and be like, fucking Socrates was right here and he was a Chad. Like, that's yeah. going to be awesome. It's crazy. <sighs> wow. Socrates was a Chad. Straight up. For real. Philosophy podcast is episode 100. Because <laughs> I'm making claims. <laughs> you made the first one. Yeah, but that was an accident. I heavily regretted it. Uh, like, hopefully, I won't regret it. I'm trying that. to stop you from making the same mistake as I did. I didn't say I would bash every philosophy. <laughs> but I'll yeah, just talk I, did, about I did learn a lot more about religion because they had like their like major Christianity and major Islamic roots. And they're just like sort of mm. all over, like intertwined with each other. Yeah. Like, we visited these 2,000 year old caves that like had paintings of Jesus on. Like, mm. car like they just carve a cave out of the rock in Cappadocia and paint Jesus' life story there. It's crazy. Wow. Cool. Your history's cool where they just, like, did shit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, people before, like, how did I get here? Yeah. Anyway, would you yeah. want to bash him again? Um... I think I'm pretty much done. Uh, any questions? Well, I had no... I had no... <laughs> <questions>. <laughs> um, any any, any follow-up? Um, any... Uh, we can wait for some questions in the crowd. Uh, I mean, from you guys. Like, any, anything you want me to clarify? What about Scientology? It's not a religion, is it? Is it not? It's like a I belief system. I think it's, yeah, I don't think it's... It's like a cult. Is, is a religion's cult? I don't know. I think so. Somewhat, right? What's cults are religious. Or cults cult can be religious, but re religion is not a cult. Oh, hang on a minute. That's Ooh, my Do they have a church? I don't know. There might be a church. It's church of Scientology. Yeah, the church of right. Scientology. I don't know enough about Scientology, clearly, to bash them. Uh, Tom Cruise was in it, and he has asymmetrical teeth. <laughs> That's a fact, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like... If you draw a line down the center of his face, one of his front teeth is dead in the middle. Damn. Well, it's probably because he Whoa. like does all his stunts himself. I think he he's just born that his way. Head on a, <laughs> on a rock. He bashed his, bashed his jaw slightly to the left. Yeah, yeah it's all so, still yeah. quite <laughs> nicely. That's yeah. all I got for Scientology. Is that his teeth aren't straight? Yeah. So maybe he's not. Yeah. No. <laughs> you said yeah, <laughs> and I'm cutting it there. No. Um. Yeah. So. We're trying to get famous. Yeah, let's move on. That was our first attempt, but we have a better attempt that coming up. Is, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's for a bad reason. So apparently, the only way to make your your, your podcast blow up mm -hmm. is to get onto the short form content. I'm yes. talking TikTok. Yeah. I'm talking mm -hmm. shorts. I'm talking reels. Yeah. The problem quite is, popular. 
is that... <laughs> so we're going to fake some reels. No, 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 no. We're not going to fake them. We're going to do them. But we're going to... For real. For real. <laughs> Put that like in a real. Yeah, Jack, I got it. I did, Jordan, I did, I did it louder. <laughs> I like Jackson's version. Just like, got it. Yeah. <laughs> I missed your version. too stupid to get yours. <laughs> so, um, we're going to... The problem with our podcast is that, as you can see, we get distracted extremely easily. <laughs> yep. So, we are going to be answering tick-tockable questions. Yeah, so I've been doing some... ticky tocky way. I've been doing some market research on what the other podcasts are up to. Yeah. Having a look. And they're doing things a bit differently. What a sex chat. Okay, which we're going to leave out that, for this week. Can you tell that we're not actually that serious about blowing up? No, we are. This, this is, is our best attempt. No, what, you, what do you mean? We, we want to blow up. We had a meeting about right. this, Zach. You weren't sorry, here. Sorry, yeah, I was away. Yeah, you but don't take it seriously. We want our podcast to blow up. And this is going to be our attempt, and we're gonna we're gonna go so viral on TikTok. Yep. Off what you've come up with some questions. It's it's high energy, guys. It's not cutting each other off. And if we stuff up, we'll start again. <laughs> <laughs> so let's give yeah, this a, a try. Oh my god! Can I not go first? I'm gonna be well. This one's the worst. For you, this one. No, just ask the room. Yeah, this one's the room. Then okay. how do we know who talks? No, no, you guys just see how you come go. On. Well, we can kind of look at each other and discuss and then cut that part don't, gets cut out of the Don't discuss. <laughs> so, hey, so we can kind of have a conversation like a podcast. Wait, yeah. so you, how, okay. It's got to be under 60 seconds. Yeah. And we're going to have to so at least one, have some jokes in there. Should I get the timer? And nah, nah, I like, you can look at that. it. I can, like, Peter, we'll, you feel it. we'll feel it. We'll feel it. We'll feel it. We'll feel the TikTok. Just so All you know, right. guys, the optimal times for TikTok are 59 seconds or 13 seconds. Actually, so if, so if, yeah, if you hit 14, you've got another 40 to go. You better start feeling time. If you can't make your point in like five seconds after Jackson finishes the question, keep going for a minute. Okay, this one's probably a 59 second segment. <laughs> All right. It's okay, not a 14 try second. Don't me too hard. I mean, 13 second. We've got to start taking this seriously, Peter. We're trying to get famous. And you've got to talk in your wacky voice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, ready, guys? This is like the intro. You can't yeah, talk. Yeah, and then subtitles for this. All right, cause Zach, can you give me like a stinger just to get me in the zone? <laughs> Guys, have you ever heard of the smile theory? No. What's the smile theory? I'm already smiling, so it must be working. It's if you imagine a smile inside your mouth, you can't help but smile. It's working, I think. Yeah, it's kind of working on me. <laughs> Wait, how do I imagine a smile in my mouth? Wouldn't it be with my mouth? Imagine it inside your mouth, and I'm then gonna... it comes out. See, <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it works. Oh. oh man, you should try this at home, guys. Yeah. I'm gonna start by frowning. And now imagine a smile, Peter. Oh, <laughs> I can't stop it. It works. That's crazy. Jordan. It makes you more approachable. Oh, so Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. No, no, so Jordans. How what do, do we what go? We like, how do we go? Yeah, that's that's it, right? That was yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Good, perfect. Now we can review our now, work. now we can go back to being regular humans. <laughs> yeah, so I was gonna, how, how I was gonna say, that? does it work if you're like really depressed? Like what if you go to a funeral and you're like, I'm so sorry for your loss. Just imagine a smile in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> would that work? I think so. I would imagine so. If, yeah, if, guys, if you're feeling down today, just imagine you were smiling. Yeah. So wow. the one I watched, I don't know if they'd planned it a bit more, but they all just really wholesomely started smiling. And Wait, so have you just completely stolen this That's from a rip else? That's a rip-off. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd like done the research, then come up with your own. No, 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 we, no. Need, we need new ones, Jackson. New theories. Have you heard of the frown theory? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> have you guys heard of the frown theory? No. 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 So apparently, if you have a frown inside your mouth, <laughs> if, you imagine, <laughs> if you imagine yourself frowning inside your mouth. No, start again. <laughs> you start up. You got to start again. <laughs> <laughs> If you have a frown inside your mouth, you have a frown. Okay, you're okay. All right. so, Have you guys heard of the duck theory? No. no. Well, apparently, if you imagine a little duck on your tongue, you'll just start pulling a duck face. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of works, right? Quack. <laughs> like, apparently, a lot of famous, like, Instagrammers use it just before they take their selfies. Quack. Like, it's the most authentic duck face you can pull off. Are you on fucking drugs? <laughs> Quack. I don't think this one's real. Because <laughs> I'll give me the stinger. <laughs> Boo. Have you guys heard of the salt theory? No. No. It's, it's the theory that if you imagine yourself shaking some salt onto your tongue, you'll taste the salt. So, you've got to mime it out. Right. And then you'll taste the salt. Yeah, got him. Uh, do you oh, taste that? Do you want a bit salty? I might need to add some pepper. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That, that could be it. The salt theory. 
Fuck, you're taking me back to high school yeah. with that one, Peter. Yeah, when you said the duck theory and you're talking, I was like, fuck, this is just the exact same thing. Okay, I think just that one- cut it off after that one. That one's too short. That one's too That one was That That was 13 seconds, do you reckon? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well so. done, team. <laughs> if it cracks 14, though, I'll get ready for 40 seconds of black screen. <laughs> no, just repeat that for 40 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> All right, should we do the next one yeah, that I've like, got prepared? I like this new segment. All right. You... Jordan, it's time for some word association. Uh, when I okay. say a word, you say the first thing that comes to your head. Come. I Wait. wasn't ready. <laughs> no, <laughs> is that that's the first thing that comes to your head anyway? <laughs> he said, it's got come on the brain. <laughs> get him, get him, get him. Happy. Sad. God. Long. Turtle. <laughs> Small. And fast. Pop up. Where? <laughs> Wait, I can't do that. <laughs> You've overloaded his brain. There's too much going in. <laughs> Nothing could come, come out. out. <laughs> Nothing could come out. Why well, was you pretty long for God? Because <laughs> he's probably pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> Pew. <laughs> That one worked pretty well. Yeah, <laughs> I think we got a lot of shorts coming out of this I one. I was not ready for that. Do you have more word No, we can just do another one. You can do one. I'll do one for you. Or does someone want to do one for Zach? Not me. No, no. I reckon just get on with the next one. Then we'll, just, right. we'll do a word of association for Zach next week. We've got, we we're going to have to go viral we every week, dude. Oh, coming everywhere. Perfect. So, guys, I've been... Sorry, sorry. Someone leave me in. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm drinking bubble tea. <laughs> So guys, I've been trying to figure out, am I hot? Am I not? What do you guys rate me? You're hot. You're hot. Nine. Well, like according to Tinder, like yeah. I never get any matches because I'm not tall. You're mm. very tall. Yeah. Does that come into it? Girls yeah, love of tall. Does. That's a few points. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that you're not my type. Oh. But I can see the appeal. Oh. It's like true. I like some more titties. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 14 <laughs> seconds, we did it. <laughs> Pew! <laughs> what the fuck you are doing? It's true. It's a TikTok machine, bro. <laughs> you can't help it. There you go. They do that one a lot. That doesn't sound rate like... Rate yourself. Yeah, rate yourself. Oh, well, let's all do it. <laughs> or what do you rate that person? Yeah, we can all That's do it. Let's so just funny. go for it. No, true. You do like... You know how they... You know the TikToks where they go around and they like take a photo of someone and then they like, how hot do you think you are? Then they show it to the next yeah, person yeah. and they say like, rate that oh, person. Oh, I have seen that. Yeah. That right. one goes off. It's kind of cruel. I reckon that, that was very successful. <laughs> do you, you got one or? No, no, I was going to do the attractiveness thing. The no, let's do it. All right. Pew. All right, be honest. Don't save my feelings. Okay. What will you rate me out of 10? Completely objectively, you won't hurt my feelings. I just want to know. Mm, you're not really my type, but I can see the appeal. But that's not a number. Six. Oh shit, that's <laughs> terrible. No, I said don't spare my feelings. I'll give you a seven. I'll give you an eight. I like the hair. Damn. What would you rate yourself, Peter? I have no idea. Uh, let's go with seven because that's the average of all you guys and your opinion matters to me. Oh, I wonder yours. what the comments Fuck. think. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting really good at this. Oh, we're going to be famous. I wonder what the comments <laughs> looks at the camera. <laughs> Did it then? Oh. Um, what about we do a really awkward one for me? Go on. <laughs> like I'll be really happy, and you guys, just, you guys can roast the shit out of me. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I saw this thing the other day that people were doing on TikTok, and I thought it might be fun to try. So I want you guys to rate me out of ten. Ew, cut. You didn't get me engaged in the first two yeah, seconds. Just how hot am I? Long. I don't. Okay. I don't give a fuck about this. So the other day. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Ew. Oh, wait, one more time. All right, how hot am I, guys? I've been seeing this. Rate me out of 10. Zach, you know, you don't need to... You're like a three. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. What? I'm thinking two. <laughs> guys, you don't have to be that honest. Like, we all I, were thinking I was going to say you don't need to spare my feelings, but... Oh, well, maybe, maybe yeah, they weren't, they weren't spared. spared. a little, Peter. It's just a bit awkward. Uh, uh, why does this podcast always get so awkward? Five? God, I would love to see what I rate you guys. Probably next week we'll do it. Mm. Yeah. On the underdogs? Yeah, Underdogs Podcast. <laughs> yeah, every, podcast. Every Monday on Spotify. <laughs> no, no Patreon. <laughs> Fuck, is this a good segment to listen to? <laughs> I don't know. I think we it, might be, it good, there. might be a good once off. It will be great we upload these as TikToks and we come next <laughs> back next week with our stats of yeah. how we yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, no, this is a good one. You should make the end of the short lead right into the start of the short. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, how do can, we do that? Can we do that one again? Okay. Yeah. Awkwardness. Our final yeah. short. Okay. How are you going to lead us back in though? No, I got, I got okay. it. Okay, you've got Beep. it? Okay.
How hot am I? I was seeing people do this. Rate me out of 10. You, you don't need to spare my feelings. Just go. I think you're like a three. Mm. I'll be honest. I'm going with two for me. Two. Uh, four. Uh, two without the beard. Mm. Fuck. I kind of regret asking how... <laughs> I started with how hot am I? So it's like, oh, no. I can't regret asking, how hot am I? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Very I've good. I've been doing the a watch few time is now 200%. We've done it. So, wow. yeah, should we post them all as TikToks and then review the stats? Like, yeah, definitely. Maybe not all of them. No, but the beauty <laughs> I think of TikTok, we should post all of them. That's the beauty of TikTok is that you can throw shit at the wall and yeah. a limited amount. Maybe they all are TikToks. Maybe not all YouTube shorts. Yeah. Guys, here's another one we might be able to do. I've just seen in the Patreon live <laughs> chat. Go on. Did you guys hear about the drama between Mr. Beast and Jack Jacksepticeye? I did. I did, actually. I didn't. Oh, well, well let me tell apparently you. Apparently, some more information's come out about it. What? And uh, Jack Jacksepticeye has just... Oh, I fucked it up, guys. Sorry, Sorry we can start again, dude. Yeah. we got all day. It's not like there's a live chat Does of someone people. someone know more about it than me? <laughs> yeah, maybe they probably. I don't. I, I do. Yeah. Did you guys hear about that big YouTuber drama between Jack Jacksepticeye and Mr. Beast? Yes, I did. What happened? It is absolutely crazy. So basically, he was attached to a lie detector test, Jack Jacksepticeye, mm. and he said he hated Mr. Beast and what he's done to YouTube. Oh. And then Mr. Beast replied on Twitter, and they're just basically having beef. It's new YouTube versus old YouTube. Wow, that is crazy interesting. I think they kind of squashed the beef, though, when Jack Jacksepticeye, still on the lie detector, said that he would have sex with Mr. Beast for swapping those subscriber numbers. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't? Not me. I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was, what the fuck? We've gone crazy. Uh, I don't. I don't like TikTok. I don't like living in the TikTok world. Yeah, we need to get out of this universe. What stressed me out. What else has happened since I've been away? Can we have? Do you like guys the, actually want to talk about that? Because that's actually pretty interesting. Like without what? it being a TikTok. Oh, the, the Jack the, 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 like, oh, situation. The, because that. the two different ideas that they're presenting are actually pretty reasonable. I kind of what, agree with who, both. Uh, who is Jack Jacksepticeye? He I only know Mr. Beast famous his podcast. Old YouTuber. Right. He's either. similar to like, you know when like, it was like Markiplier, Jack Jacksepticeye, mm, PewDiePie, for like the Let's biggest player. Let's Players. Right, sure. So he's like part of that. And he's the, go for the morning to you laddies, Jack Jacksepticeye here. He's Irish. I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do that impression, but then seeing <laughs> Jackson's face when you did it, I'm kind of glad I did change. He's like, oh, he's the top of the water do it guy. And it's like, what? <laughs> yeah. Imagine saying that to like your granddad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, you know him. Him. he's the top of the water do it. His mind is shocks up to go. I really thought that I would get a little bit more yeah. back from so you. I thought someone else was going to respond. But I re- then I remembered you were Everyone else to me. already knew. I yeah, knew, I realized yeah. that once we got into it. Sorry. I swear Jackson's the weird one for this. Yeah, I am. I anyway, should know who that is. Um, right. What he basically was saying was that Mr. Beast kind of changed YouTube to be really obsessed with money and not as much about having fun, mm-hmm. which is like, I mean, obviously the less players were making a shitload of money, but also they came across as more genuine oh, because he's what obsessed with stats you mean or more yeah, than he's, he's like giving away money and, and editing stuff. and everything i or? think it's like he gets bigger and bigger with all his videos and it's they're like more corporate style. as well they are more but corporate also means like right you know like making money he puts it back in so the videos have more money to them so and it's it's like the acquisition of being like <coughs> sterile he was also yeah. saying that mr beast is probably not having that much fun while he's making his videos and it's just more of a grind for i have always content uh, the one time i've watched it I've thought that doesn't you've had the like vibes. It of does that. come across as disingenuous to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels and like reality TV or something. Yeah, yeah. Th- I mean, and that's. I think people went to YouTube because it wasn't like that early yeah, on. Sure. And so, if you went to YouTube for that reason, yeah, then you're probably not going to like it. But then, it's in a, like a league of its own in terms of if you compare a Mr. Beast video to a reality TV show, mm. Mr. Beast video is way fucking better. Yeah, but it's just it kind of pushes out the yeah fun videos. But I would also say that's also YouTube's algorithm that did that more than Mr. Beast himself. He just capitalized on the new algorithm. Yes, yeah, yeah. so don't that have would the be, player hate the yeah, game. Exactly. Sort of that's, yeah, exactly. That's probably mm. what I would say. Like, I don't think Jack Jacksepticeye even meant that like he doesn't like Mr. Beast. Like they've squashed the beef since then. Right. I think it was it was more like he didn't like how it's changed YouTube. Yeah. Which is like something that I can somewhat agree with. Like the million copycats of Mr. Beast is like it's gonna happen. And like, kind of spoiler alert, that was going to happen with anyone. Like, yes, yeah, someone would have done it. It's a good thing that him, it right? is Mr. Beast. Yeah, because Mr. Beast is like a legend. But, but like, I someone think... was going to figure out like 
wait a minute, if I put te- giving $10,000 to a homeless man in the title, <laughs> that video is going to pop off. Yeah. Maybe I should do 20000 next time. Like yep. someone's going to figure that shit out. It's not that yeah. hard. Yeah. Put th- money back in. and then <laughs> It just turns out that humans are just obsessed with money. Just obsessed with it. And yep. it, it doesn't even need to really be advertised aside from the fact that just money. Money, money, money. Because Mr. Beast's most recent video was like putting a Lamborghini in a shredder. And I'm like, don't do that. Yeah. But people are like, you can do that because you have money. Yeah, I want to yeah. see that. Like, I didn't click on the video because I really don't, I don't want to give give it to someone. Don't destroy it's it. It's so funny how, like, not appealing the video would be if it was like, putting a Hyundai, like, Elantra <laughs> yeah. in a shredder. <laughs> yeah. Just some, like, basic ass car. It's like, putting a chair put in Lamborghini, a shredder. Lamborghini. Yeah. Like, it. It honestly wouldn't cost him that much more of the budget to like. Up oh, the compared car. to building like a million dollar set and hiring workers and shit, it's probably yep. a cheap video. All things considered, Lambo. I haven't seen it. Maybe not. But yeah, compared to how much it's going to make, a bunch of other cars. Yeah. You know, like you could get like a thousand dollar Porsche SUV, and then like it doesn't do as well as Lambo in the title. You could get the cheapest Lamborghini. And like yeah. wrap it in a sick color to make it look. <laughs> Did so you mean to say a million dollar? I think you said a thousand dollar. Said thousand. I don't think you can get many Porsches for a thousand dollars. Sorry, I meant. Yeah, I mean, must be nice. <laughs> a few hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, also Reggie Miller on the chat uh, saying the Mr. Beast thumbnails are a bit uncanny and scary. They do feel super sterile to me. Like the fact that his face is so airbrushed and edited to the point where he no longer looks like a human. Yeah, he looks like a animated character in yeah. the most recent one. Like all the detail has been kind of changed. It just looks it's scary. It's probably to make him like the most recognizable in each thing. Yeah, you know? it's just it's to look like a cartoon character to appeal to kids. You know, it's like cartoon characters have bigger eyes than normal, and so does Miss Thumbnail Mister Beast. Like, yeah. Oh, is that true? Like his eyes are bigger and shit. Dude, probably. look at it. I'll show it. To and you. his face is like completely. I don't smooth actually really stuff. know what he looks like. That much. he's he. It doesn't matter you'll what he looks like. That you'll know that he looks human. like a not, not human. human. Okay, it's sure. A good Mister Beast mention on the pod. Yeah, yeah this big is one. a huge one. So yeah, we are all kind of agreeing with Jacksepticeye in a way of what Jacksepticeye. But well, I, I don't hate Mister Beast for it. Does Mister Beast even disagree with it? Yeah, Mister Beast. So. Oh god! This is where the drama kind of came in. Where it's Mr. so weird. It's Sorry, weird, right? I'm just looking at the photo of Mr. Beast now. Like he does look like a human, hey? Yeah, it looks like a caricature almost. Exactly, like strange. a cartoon. Yeah, yeah. I'll um, try and get the reply. Mr. Beast had like a reply that was like, <clears throat> like, of course I'm having fun. Like I wouldn't have spent the last 15 years of my life like really dedicated to YouTube if I wasn't. Yeah, sure. I genuinely do think Mr. Beast has would have loads of fun making his videos. Sure. It's just like gotten like really really big but i think like when he drops new videos it probably gives him like like heaps of dopamine yeah Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. i I don't likes the grind i respect him for doing what he does 100 percent. i don't like the direction it's taken youtube but that's not on him you know what i mean i saw a good video today actually where it was like youtube nowadays and he just went through a whole bunch of like stupid idea titles and then it showed him with a whiteboard a whiteboard it was like i verbed big number like subject yeah so it's like like <laughs> yeah. i destroyed five million like toy lego cars yeah. and then it's like i put four million jars of nutella in my grandma's house yeah <laughs> just like big number with like i did big number this yeah i yeah i kind of hate that side of youtube but yeah. I, that doesn't really i'm not even in that world like my youtube feed is zero percent yeah there. so there's that's a lot nice. that is not that and also in terms of like the authenticity and stuff i feel like that's why podcasts have taken off with like Joe Rogan and stuff yeah. getting bought by Spotify for like two hundred million dollars or well, something it's crazy, just more authentic and real. Yeah, because yeah. there's like always people craving that stuff. It's funny that everyone always says, like, "Oh, no one, li- no one likes that." Or oh, I like the whatever other side, but it's obviously the most popular thing in the world right now. I think now. YouTube's having a little bit of a yeah. swing more the other way, right? Of um, away from <clears throat> Mr. Beast, you mean? Away from just like super generic like spectacle. Like numbers, yeah, and even in Mr. Beast's videos himself, yeah, like some of the more recent ones. I was watching the editor for Mr. Beast, who I really like, like his educational stuff, and he's talking about in the latest one where he like cures everyone's blindness, like he used way more like longer shots of people's reactions. Whereas, like, Mr. Beast's preference is to skip away from like any sad moment or like really emotional thing, and then it's just like. Next up, like Lamborghini and the sh- uh, sort of thing. Yeah, high but intensity. then like, yeah, but then this editor was saying like, he did way more of like the emotional moments in that and like the hundred ages video. Yeah, he like kept in way more of like the emotional parts and like let the editing be way slower instead of super fast paced. Yeah, 
and the video did better than all of Mr. Beast's other ones. There you go. So like now, I think he's like swinging more that way. Yeah. Well, it's more. It's more about the storytelling. What people will watch than more than anything. It's like yeah. YouTube doesn't really control what you watch as much as you like the people. Yeah. Do. YouTube is just an algorithm that is based off humans. It's yeah. trying to get the most views. It's yeah, not a yeah, YouTube yeah. thing. It's a human thing. It's based yeah. off the feedback of what the people are watching. Yeah. You know it's what like I mean? everyone's like, staying around for that video. They're going to promote that yeah. video. So and the if point people that are bored, they'll hmm. leave. The point that this uh, editor, Hayden Hillier Smith, he's got his own channel, was making was that like people are actually kind of sick of the spectacle with no substance. And it's like people actually want more substance now. I hope so. And then like, well, yeah. yeah. Because I, obviously there's always going to be kids who want just the spectacle stuff. Just the like bam, bam, bam. But yeah, like but I hope that like the YouTube audience is maturing again past that. Yeah, and like the longer, like people are getting sick of... The, because of shorts as well. It's like sometimes people actually want to sit down and watch like a 25 minute long like story type video as opposed to just yeah. cutting out all of the like all the interesting <laughs> bits. Well, well, it's it's YouTube essays niche, right? are huge as well. And there, I think there's just mm. a massive there's like so many people on YouTube I feel like there's just a massive audience for both. Yeah. And so yeah. some people are going to hate the entertainment pure like bam bam and then Kids are obviously going to love that shit. But it's the old, the classic vote with your wallet. You have to pay for it, but just watch what you want to watch. Vote with your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Vote with Unless it's what I don't want you to watch. In that case, then don't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That doesn't reinforce my preferences. <laughs> <laughs> or just watch Underdog's videos. That's pretty safe. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I say this because my rollerblading video is coming out soon. Ooh. Ooh. And that is like a longer one that I tried to like, I guess, tell more of a story. How with, soon but is it's soon? Just like, uh, probably like two days from now. I'm excited. Two I was days to finish it before nice. I went away, but I didn't. So is it done? <laughs> Almost. Right. Like v- so close. Yeah. I got a video coming out tonight, so I was just making sure that Ooh. we weren't clashing. What's that video? Oh, nothing too exciting. It was a. It's a gameplay one, but it's it's a bit, it's a, got a bit of a twist. Oh, Ooh. bit do of we, a twist. Do we get well, it'll be out it? by. Uh, I. Yeah, it'll already be. Out. It'll be out by the time this comes out. I'm doing bad strategies intentionally to become good. Nice. Oh, I like that Whoa. little teaser. Makes we'll all have. Excited. So when's yours? Two days. Yeah. What day is that? Thursday. Uh, yeah, but I'm re-recording every single voiceover I did for it because I oh watched my it. God. I watched it back after like a week, and I was like, I sound way too tryhard. Really? Well, it's it's like the sort of like YouTube. I find it really hard to turn off. YouTube not like voice. a YouTuber voice, but even when I'm doing more casual stuff, like I know I'm presenting to a microphone. Yeah. Mm. But it's like I want the vibe of the video to just be like me casually talking, but it's very hard to click record and for me to just talk like I normally do, like I am now. Now I'm yeah. talking to people, so it's easy for me to talk. Yeah, talking to people helps, doesn't it? Do you want to yeah. come sit behind the microphone and just tell me yeah, the story? Yeah, we can just sit there and you can talk, <laughs> tell us what it is. It was also something that Maddie said, like, yeah, I think you could be like doing your voiceovers better because it like feels a bit too much like that. And I was like, yeah, I kind of agree with that. And she said, like, I can sit next to you and you can talk to me. And I was like, I might take her up on that. Yeah, but also I, just, I think I just actually. need to... It's a different style to gaming videos. I think the gaming lends itself more to me being like doing like crazy stuff yeah, yeah. and then if it's just me like in rollerblades for a week mm. you are you are big on the youtuber voice for a while and like obviously we kind of we got kind of made funny but obviously it works yeah. because everyone has one right everyone's got one I it find... makes more sense if i'm doing like a challenge or something yeah uh, i don't know it's also a weird thing because it's like when you're recording just the youtube video it's weird doing something like that with no feedback and so if you're just yeah. talking normally with no feedback you're like you start to get in your own head almost. Well, there's no one's energy to read because exactly. if you're having a conversation like you and I right now, the way you're responding is subconsciously telling me how to continue yeah. talking. When you're there in a microphone, <laughs> there's none of that. Like yeah. when you introduced Jack Septicai and I didn't yeah. reply, you're like, oh, that didn't you work. Mm. Off. <laughs> yeah, time to settle down a bit. Like yeah. this isn't it, Chief. Yeah. It's like you don't even know what you're doing if what you're doing is funny or not because you're just getting no oh feedback and God, it's weird yeah. as it's hell. Tough, isn't it? You ever had an edit? You're like, that's hilarious. And on your like 50th watch through of the edit, you're like, oh, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like, is this even funny anymore? I've seen yeah. it a million times. Yeah. Writing jokes is the worst <laughs> for that. It's just like writing something in your script and you're like, is this funny? Is this annoying? Is it trying really hard? Yeah. Oh God. I think the problem with this voiceover that I did is like, I was trying to write too many jokes, but in the video, I was just using it to like connect two things. So I should just say like what happened like between the two things. And then some parts where like the m- the music is like, well, it's like a part where I might feel a bit more like sad or like a bit more angry, but then like my voiceover was taking it to the extreme. 
And I'm like, I, I didn't really feel like <laughs> it's like when when I couldn't play volleyball because I was in the roller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Listening to my voice, I was like, I was all alone. Like, I couldn't get on the field, and, yeah, that, and yeah, I was yeah. like, man, like I'm too much of a tryhard. Yeah, get, get over it. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna do like I'm just gonna say it casually. And let the music like convey a slight emotion. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's still a silly YouTube video. And I think that was the part that I was being a bit too much with. I think, um, that, sorry, oh, go on. I was just going to quickly say, like, I don't actually watch much of his videos, but he's very popular. Like Moist Critical. Have you have you seen his videos? Yeah. It's like he's kind of just talking and it's, yeah. it works. And it's, uh, lots of people like him for that. I was going to say the style that re- reminded me of Zach of having like, what I did a thing does is he does a super monotone voiceover mm. that isn't conveying any emotion but then conveying a lot of emotion through what you're watching, which yeah. kind of creates like a funny dynamic because it's just like- I love his videos. Uh, yeah, they're really funny. It's just like- What's well, like the, the contrast? Yeah, the voice I read, he's just like, I found it quite hard to do this. And meanwhile, in the video, he's like burning his finger, being like, ah, oh, fuck, yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. ow. And it's just like, this is a great thing to do if you don't really like having fingers. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, it's just, you know, like- <laughs> Dry. Like that. It's, yeah. it's quite dry, but yeah. al- also like absurd. In a good way. I like that kind of so thing. So I, I Have think you that's seen that good. channel? No. Oh, you should, oh, you should it. check it's it out. It's a great channel. Damn. Bit of an, he's like an engineer kind of thing. Like yeah, but he's not at ma- all. Yeah, he just kind of makes dumb stuff. Like inventions? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. It's very funny. I think the problem for me comes with scripted videos. Yeah. Because I always put like effort into writing the script and then it, it seems like I should put like equal effort into like saying it. But sometimes you just want to say something yeah. more casual. Yeah, I've had. I think I've been saying, but I've been working on a video for like three weeks now, which is the longest I've ever. It's done. an amazing. Video. Oh, Jordan's seen. It's Harvard. an amazing video. Oh, I don't know uh, how you did it. That's all I'll say. But I'm excited for that. But I also have that point now. I've been working on it for so long. It's like, am I even finding this funny anymore? Like, I know what part yeah. is coming where and all this. It's just like ridiculous. You don't want to go back and change it because, like, yeah, <laughs> then it'll be like a bit new and a bit surprising to you. Yeah, yeah. But it's then like, it am I just surprising myself from what I <laughs> know? And I, oh, it's driving yeah. me crazy. I can't wait to just. <laughs> I did the uh, exact same thing with the script I wrote and I just trailed off and didn't finish it. Yeah. And I came back and read it yesterday and I was like, oh, this is actually good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I should finish <laughs> that because it's actually good. Hey, like, yeah. because I was so sick. I'm like, what porn I have been making? Like, yeah. is this good? And then I came back with a pair of fresh eyes and I just like partial off and like 30 minutes finished yeah. it. You were like, oh, this is good. Done. Oh, this is good. Let's just finish it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like even like the some of the best movies you've ever watched. You're like, you wouldn't watch it back to back and enjoy it as much. You yeah. Know? yeah. <laughs> Tell that to the Mario Bros movie. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that back to back to back. You know what's crazy? Uh, Hungry Box was getting to Istanbul Airport the same day and time what? that I was leaving. Well, for what? He's like on a holiday and he was in Greece. What? And I was like, yo, man, are you in Istanbul? He was like, I'm there tomorrow. I was like, I'm on a like, rooftop in Istanbul right now and I'm leaving tomorrow. That's, That's funny. so fun. Do you see him like, at the I, airport or something? No, or? because it's like different departure and arrival gates. Because I was going to try and find him and uh, actually film him without knowing, like me following behind him. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so but, funny. Yeah. Shout go. outs to Hungrybox taking over Turkey after I did. I was going to bring him up before. He's sort of the Mr. Beast equivalent to Smash, I feel like. Um, no, not I think that really. Was really back in the day. Not oh, quite zero. as much, but I see what you mean. On yeah. it, uh, uh, his titles and thumbnails. That's I kind of say. what I like. Yeah. The presentation of the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. The I videos themselves are not, though. Sure. I've never I... watched one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the videos themselves are usually just him kind of chilling on his They're stream. They're like stream highlights. Oh, mostly. interesting. Yeah. But no, yeah, I'm all meant the presentation. Of all I've ever seen is the thumbnails. Yeah, it'll be like, so. Smash Bro 6 is confirmed. And then the video is like him reacting to Sakurai, I, kind yeah, of I just think, mentioning it. I don't think he would be the Mr. Beast of Smash Bros. If anything, I think it's either me or TC Nick. Right. Like, because it's like taking the idea and doing it to the extreme. I yeah. think it's more Mr. Beast than like, Hungrybox just like plays to the algorithm. Like he knows that's like the big I mean. face and the reactions. Yeah, yeah. That. That's kind of what I'm saying, I think. But it's actually uh, like, how uh, dare you call someone else the Mr. Beast of Smash <laughs> issue in front of me? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. No, but no offense to Hungrybox, but he hasn't been as successful as me or TC. Oh! Ooh. That's fair. Oh, good thing you didn't meet up in Istanbul, baby. Or <laughs> you'd be throwing ass. <laughs> that's what he wanted to tell him <laughs> in Istanbul. Holy shit. He didn't whisper in his ear. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't the Mr. Beast. <laughs> 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 bitch. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Uh, how right. long have we been going? Is that time or we got a bit more time it's been an hour of 16 not bad i'm happy Pretty with long. that less to cut out yeah i'm happy to do you, you want to have a patron live chat for a little yeah, bit let's we'll do end that. the recording yeah because i sometimes i just have to cut things out for that yeah because it's too for long no reason yeah. really all right so we'll, we'll have a live we'll keep this in the patron edition to keep recording but this will wrap up the actual podcast so yeah. yeah you can come hey, find us say, on let's Patreon. say something snappy so we'll oh, just good uh, idea actually if somewhere you're, you're the one that edits it so do you want to do something <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> I'll do it. 
Go on. All right, guys, that's it for this week, episode eighty. I think. Quick bash one more religion. I think I survived. I was what I was gonna say, mm. so I'm gonna pass on that <laughs> offer. Bacon's good. Oh, oh I mean, he's right. So that's it. Actually, now I think of it, one more thing. Yeah. What's the deal with?